Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anthony Wood and this is Shop Mad. In today's video I'm going to be making a tripod light. I'm going to make this out of ash hardwood. So stay tuned and I'll walk you through the process on how I made it. But before I do, don't forget, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for new content being added on a weekly basis. Let's crack on. Right then guys, for the top I want to make it as chunky as possible so I need to mill some ash down to 25 millimeters thick. Now I'm going to put this through the jointer now and then I'm going to plate it down to 25 millimeters. In SketchUp I was able to make up one to one templates from the model I created so I'm going to get these roughly cut out and I'm going to glue them directly onto the ash itself. I'm just going to use some uh, Pritt stick or paper glue just to dig these straight on. Now I'm just going to take it over to the bandsaw and I'm going to get these shapes cut out. I'm now just going to drill out the centre hole at 10 millimetres. Now the bandsaw has left quite a few rough lines on so I'm just going to spend some time now just getting this sanded back so it's nice and smooth. Right guys, I'm now going to start with making the legs now. I need to make three legs at 250 millimetres long each. Right guys, I've got the legs all cut to 250 millimetres long, but I now need to make them square and I'm going to mill these down to 25 millimetres square. I'm now just going to clean up the remaining side. I'm just going to use a block plane just to clean this up a little bit.
Right, so the legs is all square now and they're all nice and smooth. I'm now going to make a start with uh, marking out where I want to put tapers on the legs. Now, I want to keep 75 millimeters at the top of the leg square, which will be 25 millimeters square. So I'm just going to mark in 75 millimeters all the way around the leg. Now at the bottom of the leg I only want the base of the leg to be 15 millimeters so I need to mark in five millimeters either side. Now this will give me the taper either side of the leg. I'm also going to put a taper on the bottom side of the leg so again I wanted to keep it 15 millimeters square, so I'm, this time I'm going to mark in 10 millimeters. And then it's just basically drawn a line from point to point, and then the same for the back. So I want to get these drawn on now. Right then guys, I've set up the tapering jig, um, I'm using this because I have one, but if you don't, don't worry, you can easily do this on the band saw or with a hand saw. So I'm going to take this over to the table saw now and I'm going to cut the inside taper. I've now set the tapering jig up so I can do the left and right side of the legs. So again, I'll take this over to the table saw and I'll get these other tapers cut in. Right guys, all of the tapers are now cut, but I want, when they're assembled, I want the, the tops of the legs to be flush with this top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the top of this at an angle where I want it to be, and then I'm gonna take it over the bandsaw and I'm just gonna take this edge off here, and then I'm gonna put a 90 degree angle coming down and I'm gonna cut this back. It just means it's more surface area to glue to the top itself. Right, so I've got the angle cut now, so now it's sitting flush. Now I just need a square off this side so when it fits, in it's going to be more glue surface area inside this joint so i'm going to get this cut off now and i'm going to give it another try right guys i've got the other side cut now so i'm just going to try it in just to make sure everything lines up yeah and that's exactly how i want it so i'm going to have to do the other two legs now I've just dry assembled the lamp base just so you guys can have some kind of idea on what direction I'm going. Now as you can see the top edges of the legs are now all flush with the top of the table lamp. Now I don't want to use any brad nails, screws, dowels, nothing. It's just going to be friction fit and glue together. So that's the direction I'm going in now. So if you bear with us I'm now going to get this glued up and I'm going to leave it overnight to cure. Thank you. 
Right, so I'm just going to leave this to cure overnight. The glue's all cured now and it's, it, it is really solid. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spend an hour, an hour and a half giving this a real good sand down. Just to clean up the edges and just to round them off, just to give them a bit more of a decorative look. Right, so I've getting the tripod all sanded down now, worked my way all through the grits and took it down to 240 grit and it is really smooth. But what I'm going to do now is I've got this old table lamp base. Now, I'm a big one for recycling, so what I'm going to do is, because this has got a threaded adapter on and it fits directly into the bottom of this lamp holder. So I just need to cut this off and then insert it into the top of the tripod lamp base. And I'm just going to cut off uh, 35 millimeters. Now this is the insert which I'm going to use to put into the top of the tripod base. Right then guys, I've got the small piece ready and what I'm going to do is I'm just now going to insert this into the top of the tripod base and I'm just going to tap it in. I'm now going to insert the lamp holder into the tripod base. Now for a finish I'm just going to use some raw linseed oil. Right so I'm just going to let this sit and I'm going to let it dry off uh, for a few hours and I'm going to apply a couple of more coats. Right guys, the tripod base is all complete now and it's turned out really, really nice. Now, for a lampshade, I got this from Ikea. I think the name it's called is Jabba, but then again, I don't speak Swinglish. So, we'll just go with this. It's like a, a morph colour. Right guys, my mistake, my swinglish wasn't too uh, impressive. After taking the wrapper off, notice it's a jarra. So if you want one, get yourself an IKEA and get yourself a jarra. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed the build as much as I have actually making it. It's turned out really nice. So if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing for new content I'll be putting on every week so until the next time bye for now